So constipation is just this, you're all the time foraging on this and that. In southern India, we found one magic, it will keep your alimentary tract clean. A clean colon is very vital for health. If you're eating off the fast food joints or off the supermarket shelves, you will be generally eating foods of very low water content. If there is non-vegetarian diet, then also it is a problem because the moment is very slow in the system. Any food that you eat should uh, have high water content in it. Your body is over seventy percent water content. If you eat any vegetable, generally it's over seventy percent water content. Fruit is over ninety percent water content. So if you bring sufficient amount of vegetables and fruits and nuts and sprouts like this, the moment of the bowel will not be a problem at all. You are eating very dry foods which have no water content in it. So if you bring in sufficient amount of fruit, vegetable, nuts and sprouts, this should take care of it itself. So constipation is just this, you are all the time foraging on this and that. If there's enough time between your meals, one meal and the other, you will not be constipated. All the time if you're foraging, then it's an issue. Generally, traditionally, ghee was always eaten as the first mouthful. Ghee is a lubricant which lubricates the entire alimentary canal. That should be the first thing you consume so that it facilitates a certain easy passage of food. At the same time, if you eat ghee and carbohydrates together, if you ghee and sugar together, then it adds as fat. But if you eat just ghee or just with a small morsel of food that you eat ghee in the beginning, then it works more as a lubricant. So one who consumes ghee in a proper manner, that person's colon will always be clean because nothing sticks there, nothing stays there for long periods of time. So in the yoga center, the day starts with a small marble-sized ball of neem and turmeric. There are many aspects to this of what impact it has on your system. So one immediate thing it will do is, it will keep your alimentary tract clean. When we say clean, this is a region where you have maximum amount of uh, other life. So within this alimentary tract, there are a whole host of microorganisms. Many of them have turned friendly to us. We are living because of them, we are able to digest food because of them. Many, many functions in the body happen because of them. But still there are many who are harmful to us. The uniqueness of neem, especially when it is taken along with turmeric, if these two things go together, largely those things which are not necessary for the body, those things can… that which can harm the body, any kind of parasital life which is there, all these things get eliminated. A clean colon is very vital for health. Dairy products have certain enzymes which are used today to manufacture certain textile adhesives. These adhesives are not water-soluble. So when you consume a lot of dairy product, it goes and sticks in your colon. So the waste material which should have easily flown out will not flow out of the system. It's a magical three fruits of tropical world. Mixing them in the right way, the trifala 
with a little bit of water or a spoon of milk or something, if you take it or even honey, if you take it, the cleansing in the system will happen. But if you can't find all this, in southern India, we found one magic. This is called as castor oil, just a little bit. Half a spoon of castor oil every day in the night, warm it, put it in water or milk and drink it up. You will see your colon remains clean. If you don't know this, today doctors are acknowledging it. What is happening in your mind and what is happening down there are connected. We have always said this in yoga, if you are constipated in your emotion and in your thought, you will naturally get constipated down there also. You know this? See how your brain and the other part are connected. Because Whatever you're doing up here naturally affects the foundations of your life. The muladhara is affected simply because of the nonsense that you're doing in your head. If you get scared, you'll either have loose motion or you'll get constipated. That's why we say shit scared <laughs> Either it is being dispensed at inoppor inopportune moments <laughs> or it's being stored up. <laughs> Whichever way you should scared, both ways, what is happening in your mind and what is happening down there are connected. <laughs>